Welcome to Pre-AP Algebra 1. Uh, my name is Leslie Adams and I am your teacher for the year. And I just wanted to take a minute to give you some information in case you were not able to come to meet the teacher night. Um, you'll see here my email is listed um, as well as my conference time. So please feel free at any point to contact me. Um, some things to know about this course. Number one, please remember that this is a high school credit course. Um, our grade is going to count toward your high school GPA, so it's really, really important. We will take the Algebra 1 STAR EOC at the end of the year. EOC stands for End of Course Test. This is one of the courses, um, one of the tests that the state requires for graduation. So it's actually a great thing that the students will be able to take that and get that done um, in eighth grade. Please remember, too, that because this is high school credit, if a student does not pass any semester, I mean, each semester is individual. Um, if they do not pass that semester, they will have to retake that course in summer school, just that semester. Um, we definitely don't want that to happen, and we're going to do everything we can to keep that from happening. Um, but please keep that in mind because this is high school credit. I also know that there's quite a few students that have um, were not in seventh grade pre-AP math last year, and that is perfectly fine. I just want you to be aware of that they are skipping a year of math by jumping from seventh grade regular to algebra one. And so there might be a little bit of gaps that we need to fill them in on and catch them up on. So at any point you feel like they're struggling, please encourage them to come in and get help um, during tutoring or lunches or advisory if needed. I want to make you aware about homework. We have homework just about every single night. Um, my calendar is on Canvas and on the website, so you can go to the Young website and you can see the calendar and see the assignments listed in case you're not sure or your student is not sure. Um, I do grade homework on completion, but it also must be graded correctly. We grade our homework in class, the students must write down the correct answers, and they must identify their mistakes. And this is very, very important to me. I don't want a student coming home with a paper and problems marked wrong and they have no idea why they've missed it or why they've gotten wrong. So part of this process is looking and recognizing their mistakes. And there's actually a lot to learn from being able to recognize the mistakes. I always take questions on the homework too and we go over it. So if they are not able to identify their mistakes on their own, we can do it together. Uh, tutoring is every morning at 8.15, unless I have a meeting and I try to let the kids know or send out a remind. Um, you do not have to have appointment or ask. They just have to check in in the office. We also have lunches that they can attend tutoring. There's always a math teacher here, and actually lunches is in my room, so if I'm in here and they need help, I can help them. And then if we need to come after school, we can make special arrangements. Um, that would you would need to talk to me about. We are using graphing calculators in our classroom. We use the TI Inspires. Um, it is my um, understanding that Martin is also switching over to the TI Inspire calculators. I'm not going to encourage you to go buy one at home unless you just absolutely want one. Um, there is an app for the TI Inspire that you can download on your phone, and it's only $29.99. The actual TI Inspires are going to cost you around $150. Um, you might be able to find one for cheaper. So that's why I don't necessarily encourage you to um, buy one. If you have another graphing calculator at home, it's just as good. The steps and the buttons to press are a little bit different, um, but just um, be aware of that. I try not to give any assignment at home that would require a graphing calculator. A lot of times a scientific calculator um, is just as good. Um, I wanted to point out some things. Some um, parents had some questions about whether or not they could access Canvas. And so I want you, I took a picture of our Canvas page, and I want you to see right here there is a place where it says parent of Canvas user that you can log in as an observer. And so you can see all the things that your students can see. You can't actually use them and interact, but you can see them. Also down here where it says course summary, this is what it looks like at the bottom of my web page. This is the calendar um, that lists all of the assignments. And unfortunately, it starts with the first day of school and then scrolls down. So 
you might have to do a lot of scrolling. Also on my website, I'm going to encourage you to go look at the information on flipped classroom. I do do a lot of flipped classroom, which means that the students are taking the notes at home. And then when they come back to class, we're picking up the discussion of what they learned in the notes, we're practicing it in class. Um, I've had a lot of success um, using flipped classroom. Part of flipped classroom is about establishing relationships with your students and being able to interact with your students more in the classroom. It's about making the best use of our class time. Please know too that I never expect a student to 100% master or understand the lesson just by watching the video at home. The purpose is just to take that boring 15 minute lecture time away from the classroom. It allows the students to um, watch the videos at their own pace. They can fast forward, they can rewind, they can pause it. Um, and I think they, they'll find that they really like it. We will do notes in class as well. Not every lesson is going to be a video or flip classroom, um, so please be aware of that. Um, but the purpose is I want to make sure that your students have time to practice and work in class. Um, communication on grades. I try my best to update grades in the computer about once a week, usually on Fridays. And then I usually send home a short email with a um, progress report attached to it, usually on Fridays. I did receive, I mean, I did send an email um, this past Sunday. Um, so if you did not receive that email, if you would please contact Connie Clark and have her check your email address um, so that we can make sure you're receiving those. And if you do need to communicate me, with me, email really is the easiest and fastest way for me to get back to you. If you would prefer a phone call, then sometimes do just an email saying, please give me a call at your earliest convenience. Um, students can earn extra points if they um, earn an A on a test or they make a 10 point passing improvement from one test to the next. Um, they can earn five bonus points that they can use at their discretion. We also will be having weekly reviews starting in a couple of weeks. Um, this will spiral the material that we learn so that we're continually reviewing it throughout the year. And they can earn extra credit points off those weekly reviews. Um, so keep that in mind. I do not offer extra credit on an individual basis. So students must take advantage of these things when they're offered. Um, and then the last thing I just wanted to share is um, I can't fix a problem if I don't know about it uh, or if I don't know that something go is going on. If your student is uncomfortable or intimidated or scared to ask questions, please, please, please share your concerns um, with me before it becomes an issue. Um, and just keep in mind too, please, that I do live in the community, so I do see things on these community um, neighborhood websites. And so it's really, really important to me that we um, maintain a positive relationship and take care of any concerns. Usually I can fix things very easily as long as I know about them. I'm really looking forward to a great year. It's already been off to a wonderful start. Um, I'm excited and these students have been working very hard. So um, just let me know if you have any questions.